Man, this sucks. Instead of being able to plan different trips around, checking things out on bicycle, now I, I gotta try to coordinate ordering another bicycle somehow. And also I gotta get locks and uh, another uh, bicycle car carrier thing. And I'm gonna get a four, they're like $15 a pop. So I'll be spending 15, 30, $45 on new locks, three, well then, also on top of that, I want to uh, also lock the the bicycle carrier to the car somehow. It's something I want to look into right now. Can I lock? Can I can I wire something underneath underneath the backside of the car anywhere? I, w I want to check that out. See if that's possible. That's that's my best bet. I don't know how else I could uh, lock the car the bicycle carrier to the car if there, there's got if there's something some kind of a loop thing underneath all right I see a loop uh, there's one on each side so I could I could put actually a loop around I just I need to figure out the size I don't think I'm not sure if a bicycle wire a wire bicycle lock will reach. I gotta, what I should do, mm, I should get the bicycle carrier first and then I'll use a, a rope to measure the length and then I could get an accurate. If I could have a bizarro world that I could control, I think I'd rather have the black people speak Spanish so I didn't know what they're saying and the Mexicans speak English. This is the side of the road? Yeah, I see a diabetic needles cap. I think they've had some problems here in the past. It's probably why that cop had no problem parking where he was because he was actually watching this road. <laughs> um, definitely not comforting. I like, it looks like it should be a, a, a nice area. It seems like it's on the edge of the city outskirts, but they, they probably had problems in the past. Bad, bad problems. Maybe trucks and trailers have been getting stolen or something. I also want to curse myself for throwing away that, that braided metal rope that I could have probably used. I don't think it's, it would be, it might not have been long enough, but still I shouldn't have thrown that away so soon i should have realized that i needed to lock the car the bicycle carrier to the car <clears throat> so what is successful at the front end of walmart you got mcdonald's the nail salons um i care bank build-a-bear is not successful i don't know how long they think they're gonna last Nails is is really interesting. There's a lot of nails. They'll do your nails in some way. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of them in Walmarts. Eye care is like standard. I question Auntie Anne's pretzel uh, fast food. I never see them really busy. They, they try in, in a lot of Walmarts, so you see Subway. I never see Starbucks in a Walmart. They must, they must really not like each other for some reason. Oh man, the way I'm spending money these days, I can't continue this Playboy lifestyle of uh, buying slightly better foods, pretty much. That's it. That's my Playboy lifestyle. And it's actually costing me more than I'm making. Never heard of grilling onions before, but I guess these are it. Alright, everything seems to mix pretty well here with the avocados and egg in preparation for the egg McMuffins. I want to toss some tomatoes in there too. I don't like tomatoes. I prefer the tomatoes as slices rather than mashing them up. I don't know what this nut store is and it's all in Mexican. I don't want to find out. They can actually have a store entirely dedicated 
to the Mexican language. It's a strong culture here. Well, this uh, is a basic mall. There's nothing too fancy about it. <laughs> Where do they post the, the rules? I'm pretty sure they're gonna post them somewhere. This isn't that too far away from, say, Tempe. They really cater to the Mexican language here. Joya Rea de la Pueblo Fine Jewelry. It's been a long time since I've seen any new video games. They're still replaying the old ones. The Quinceañera. For the Quinceañera, they got fashion men's house. The fashion stores are strongly geared towards Mexicans, towards the quince towards towards their their style of fashion. You see a very unique, different style of fashion preference in these stores. Two stores for quinceañera dresses. <laughs> Very Mexican fashion. Perona. Yeah, maybe later. Well, I guess the Mexicans have to have their own their own type of mall when they are the this is a Sears. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I guess it's a break room now. What kind of salesman is this? Oh my god. A two story carousel? This is all in Spanish. Oh no, no, maybe not. I just focus, oh no, focuses on the Mexican customer. Two story carousel. <clears throat> Mercado de los Sayolos. Hmm. This is a section for small shops. So. Oh my god, this is weird. I've never seen anything like this in a mall. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a copyright on a Mexican song. Immigration.
Stop there. <laughs> Faciales. for pets. So it's like one big restaurant. All they have are balls, magic box. is a um, franchise I've seen that several places now
escape. There's actually somebody around this carousel I saw. Oh, okay. I think there, there's somebody who's manning this carousel. Three dollars. <laughs> Huh, they must be manning something else too. Mercado de los Ciolas. I wonder if that's common. Miriam's fashion. Wow, these middle of the aisle uh, stands, the people there are a little more aggressive. A mall entirely designed for Mexicans. Shirts and shoes required, smoking and weapons not required, uh, not allowed. I like that contrast. Not only do they sell unique items at the mall, they play mu and unique music as well. And now I got a me 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 just ringing in my head. Hope they give me a copyright strike recording it too long, so I know so I can find out what it is and play it endlessly. It just amazes me how much the criminals want us to focus on cops. I get sick around here. Too sick to defend myself, idiot. I'm gonna have to leave the area immediately. What an idiot. It's probably somebody who's actually stealing it. You really do have to have a heightened sense of impatience for these people, for their actions, for their activities, because other people are trying to eat you up. I was at the main downtown Phoenix library. I had this, this guy, uh, when I came to my car, he was like throwing a ball in the parking lot uh, with for his dog, and he asked me if I was from Washington. It's like he, he had to like ask what the deal was with me. He could have been one of the watchers. So when I'd normally consider five, sometimes 10 miles, seven usually my, for a distance is not a problem on bicycle. I can only look at two miles as my longest distance that I'm willing to cover without a bicycle. All right, so there's a cotton field across. <clears throat> Either that's cotton or a lot of dirty, or a lot of, uh, a lot of toilet paper. So that's pretty neat in Arizona. They missed a few. Wow, it's so fluffy. That's pretty cool. So they've tilled up everything. It looks pretty recent. And they're planning on doing some more work. That's, this is like what you'd buy from the metal, medicine area. Uh, gauze for gauze. You got natural gauze you just pick right out here. All right, so there's about 20 of these seeds. I can just feel them. I can feel a lot of lumps. In just this little padding, there's about 15 of these. And they're not, they're not easy to pick out. They talk about how African slaves had it so rough picking cotton. <laughs> Look at, feel how soft cotton is. They're not hurting their hands, okay? And it grows bountifully. You just, you're picking one of the softest substances around 
and, and trying to make it sound like it's really that bad. Because picking this stuff is pretty easy. I wonder if they uh, had the slaves doing other other things. <laughs> 